Hey guys, this is Jeannie, live on location in beautiful Colorado. And I'm not in my YouTube studio, but today is the two month mark um, past my blepharoplasty. And I have dry eyes still, so I have to use drops, eye drops, and I'm trying to use the ones that are preservative free, and I just squirt them in my eyes. Um, I can wear my contacts sometimes for a couple hours, but then I have to take them out. Um, and my eyes um, have like, this eye has had a little bit of trouble, um, even though I clean it and I use cold compresses in the middle of the night at least once. I got like a little pimple here and I had to put like warm washcloths on it, like compresses. Um, so that was a pain. Um, I am in Colorado for the 4th of July, and so that's why I'm videotaping out on this nice little porch here. And I'm going to turn the camera around now. And as you can see, I'm on a little rustic porch. And these are the mountains behind me and the moon. And the fireworks haven't started yet, but these are all the mountains all around me. Wherever you see those peaks, you can see it. it's just getting dark now, so fireworks are going to start soon. And I'm in the house on this nice little porch here that's outside the mother-in-law suite of the home. And um, my blepharoplasty has complications. I'm at the two-month mark, and it's been a long haul where my eyes have just felt really bumpy at the top, like on the lid and the corners, especially like I can feel like a lump on the left eye. And on the right eye, I had chemosis forever, and I still have it a little bit, but I started putting my contacts in because I hate to wear these awful-looking glasses when I'm here in Colorado on vacation. So I rest my eyes. I take them off as soon as I get back to the house, but you guys can't see it, but up in the distance, there are the snow peaks, and there are the tree line, and the moon's out right there. See if I can close up on the moon. It's really pretty on the top of the mountains. And we're way up. We have a gorgeous mountain view down there um, at the house we're staying at. And it's just beautiful. And I'm up on my porch outside of our room. And with the blepharoplasty, if you have any questions about and you're thinking about getting one, put your questions below and subscribe to my channel. And I will answer all your questions. And I will let you know how it worked out for me and what you might consider before you go ahead and you book one because there are things that can go wrong. There are complications that can happen and you just have to be really careful that you realize that before you take the plunge because I did not talk to, I talked to people who just had had an upper. I had an upper and a lower and my plastic surgeon said you really can't judge until the three month mark. So that for me will be August 9th. That will be three months. So I'm going to wait until then. But up to this point, my eyes have really hurt. And I wake up once during every night. And I have to, I have to sometime during the day, just take water and put cold water over my eyes and washcloths and all that still. And even at the two month period here. So. I've been doing that regularly. I even brought nice, fresh washcloths with me in my suitcase. And I can see people up ahead in the distance closing their windows and their blinds because my camera's out here. But it's super quiet, and they get elk out here, and it's just beautiful in Colorado. It's, it's just spectacular. I love being here, but the altitude hasn't really affected my eyes. They feel the same tightness that I felt in Florida. And um, luckily, I've been able to deal with it by using cold, iced washcloths on my face. And then when I got that little pimple on the left eye due to the surgery because of the way it drains on the left eye, I went ahead and would press three times a day a warm washcloth, really as warm as I could get it, onto that little pimple. And then it slowly is going away. But yeah, there's th issues and things that can happen, and I can fill you in on all that. But right now, um, like I said, I'm still going through the process of healing big time. And as far as my eyes go, as far as looks, the eyelids are all red, and I have to cover them with foundation if I'm going out. 
because it looks swollen and red. So that's another reason why I'm icing them still. I'm going to get that swelling down and the redness. I want the redness to go away. I always wear sunglasses, and I've been wearing a baseball cap ever since and trying not to wear contacts. Well, this is your spa girl, and this is month two of my blepharoplasty upper and lower. Again, any comments, put them below, and please subscribe to my videos. I also have a spa girl travel channel where I am putting daily videos every day of my travels on the scenic routes through Colorado to Telluride and around in Telluride. And tomorrow I'll have some awesome hiking videos on the Jeannie Jones Spa Girl Travel Channel. So I hope you all have a happy 4th of July, and I will see you later. Bye.